Screening and preventative tests free with Momentum Health. Of all the New Year's resolutions that people make, nearly 40% of them will be to exercise more. Imagine that. The second most common resolution will be to eat better, with around 10 to 15% of us vowing to change our diets. We want to do better, we really do. We want to eat healthier, be fitter, and feel better about ourselves. But something is lacking in the follow-through. I'm hoping next year, like, I will try to stick to my resolutions. <laughs> No, they're difficult to keep. <laughs> no, losing weight and things like that's too stressful, no. Devote more time to the kids, less time to business. It's really hard to keep them, you know. I try and really keep them, but it's hard. Things change, you know. No New Year's resolution. We try and stick to it the whole year and we just don't. I hardly meet my resolutions. I've learned that in high school, that you can't meet resolutions. What are those? Do they work really? I don't think so. Um, probably be better at school, concentrate harder. Maybe for the first two days in January, then you forget all about it. Ah, I'm going to stop smoking, ah, I'm going to go to the gym, never happens. It's estimated that more than 75% of New Year's resolutions end in failure. I'm thinking as low as that. So what can we do to make sure we really do exercise more or do eat more veggies? Or are we simply wasting our time on an age-old tradition? Lizelle, what do you say? I mean, do you believe in New Year's resolutions? I absolutely do. I vouch for it. I think it's a very good idea to enter into some type of a almost contractual agreement with yourself where you say to yourself, look, I want to commit to actually achieve this over the next 12 months. So by all means, and I mean, it's lovely to have something or some type of a goal towards which you work. Sure. A so purpose. Yes, a purpose. Wonderful. So what makes for a good New Year's resolution then? Definitely something that's doable and something that's achievable. I think one of the biggest mistakes people make is that in essence they do set themselves up for failure because they try and gun for things that they can't do. Wouldn't it be better just to not have them at all? I mean the only resolution I ever kept was not to have a year's resolution. That worked. I don't think, you know, I would say exactly the opposite. I think, again, it's about having something to work towards. You know, like when you have a life ideal, you know, if you think back to when you were a little boy, you may have said, one day I'd like to be, for argument's sake, a fireman or a policeman, you know, and you work towards that. And that gives you a sense of purpose in life. Um, and that's usually the driving force behind a very good resolution. Okay. So what you're saying is if I aim at nothing, I'm going to get nothing. Pretty much. Cool. <laughs> so give us some tips on how to actually keep our resolutions then, some practical advice that means I won't, you know, fail my resolution. I think it's about maybe not um, committing to too significant life challenges or life changes. So not saying that within the next year I'm going to you know, qualify to be a plastic surgeon for argument's sake, but really doing something that you can achieve over a shorter period of time. So for example, breaking it down into periods of monthly or weekly um, time frames and then testing at the end of that period, have I actually been able to do that? and can I now move, move over to the next one? And that uh, gives you a greater sense of achievement, you know, um, to then, at the end of the day, tackle the bigger things. All right, so what you're saying is keep those resolutions attainable exactly. and measurable. Exactly. And put a time frame on it as well, which is great. Exactly. I like that. What are your New Year's resolutions for next year? I think for me, it's about really having to revisit some of the older stuff from years gone by and having to just tweak them. <laughs> You're getting vague on me. I'm asking for something specific. Come 1st of January, what do you want to do? What, 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 what resolution are you going to have? Definitely to travel a little bit more. Okay. And in doing so, also have more champagne. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lizelle wants to have more champagne in 2014. Well, that's doable. From my, spy, from my perspective, I would just love to sleep more. I want to get my average sleep over five and a half hours a night, which is terrible. You know, Lizelle, thank you. A recent study found that people who adopted four specific healthy lifestyle behaviors lived an average of 14 years longer than people with none of them. I mean, having a to-do list of only four New Year's resolutions sounds manageable, doesn't it? But it still takes dedication and commitment, and whether you decide to do that on January the 1st or any other day in the calendar year, it's up to you just as long as you do it. You probably want to know what those four lifestyle behaviors are. Well, you know them already, but just in case you needed a reminder. Firstly, physical activity, moderate alcohol consumption, not smoking, and finally eating your five servings of fruit or veggies a day. It's worth 14 years of life. So go for it.
for flexible cover that suits your individual healthcare needs.